This video demonstrates multiple linked data representations in CODAP using a data set consisting of measurements from sensors attached to four different elephant seals. The points on the map depict locations where sensor measurements were taken and are defined by the latitude and longitude attributes seen here in the table. Let's create a graph and let's add attributes of interest. Let's put speed on the horizontal axis and month on the vertical axis. Now we can see that by selecting different cases in the table, the corresponding selection or blue point on the graph and on the map will change to reflect the new selection in the table. Likewise, if we select a different case on the map, it selects and moves to the corresponding case in the table and on the graph. The same thing happens if we select a different case on the graph. The selection moves to the corresponding case on the map and table. We could also select multiple cases. For example, by dragging a selection box around a set of cases on the graph. Now you can see that all of the June cases are selected in blue on the graph, on the map, and in the table. Let's now unselect all cases, which you do by clicking on a blank area inside the graph, map, or table. And let's add elephant seal ID as a map legend so we can look at the paths of the four individual seals more clearly. We can now click on a color in the maps legend for a seal of interest to select the cases corresponding to that seal on the map, graph, and table. Notice now on the graph, the points for seal number 528 are selected in blue, and the rows for seal 528 are also selected in blue on the table. We could also select all cases for a specific seal by clicking on the elephant seal ID of interest in the table. Multiple linked representations allow us to use one data representation to filter another one. Right now, since we selected it in the table, we see elephant seal 541 highlighted not only in the table, but also on the map and in the graph. If we wanted to see only seal 541 on the graph, we could go to the graph, click on the eyeball to the right, and choose hide on selected cases. Now we have a graph showing only seal 541. Note that because data representations are linked in CODAP, we were able to use the table to filter data in the graph, even though the graph does not have elephant seal ID on it. This demonstrates that creating a data representation, like a map or graph, doesn't have to be the end goal. Graphs and maps in CODAP can be used as the endpoint of analysis and also as tools for helping to explore additional questions through highlighting and filtering across components.